Shirley Bell, Joshua Bell's mother, had to deal with another issue. She had to deal with her own personal feelings with how to adjust to her son's success. So, um, where is the Shirley Bell section? Here. Now, she's, um, the Joshua Bell story is really interesting. Uh, he started on uh, via, uh, Suzuki violin when, just before his fifth birthday. She, um, she plays piano, but she wasn't a professional musician. Her husband was a professional musician. They had no intention of Joshua Bell growing up and becoming a professional musician. They started him on um, one of these Eurythmus classes when he was very little. But he did really well in this class, and the teacher told her, you know, this kid is good at music. You ought to think about getting him an instrument lesson. And uh, his mother didn't know that it was possible to get kids an instrument lesson at age four, so she asked around and found that some people in their hometown of Bloomington, Indiana, were get, putting their kids into Suzuki violin. So she put him into Suzuki, and that's how Joshua Bell started. Sometimes these instrument choices are just kind of random like that, and, and then they work out. And he did really well at Suzuki Violin. He just raced through all the books. And, but he wasn't practicing very much. His mother said he wasn't practicing more than about 30 to 45 minutes a day until he was 11 years old. And when he was 11, he went to Meadow Mount Music Camp. Do any of you know about that? That's a very high-powered um, music camp where they kind of enforce kids to practice uh, many hours a day, more than just 45 minutes. Day. And they also played a lot of recordings of Yasser Heifetz and other famous uh, violin players and we heard the other kids playing there. And he began to realize, just like Chase Park, that kid that I told you about, that what practicing more than what he was doing, what that could do for his sound. And he decided he, he wanted to sound that way. And the people at this camp told Mrs. Bell, you know, this kid really is special. He really has a special talent. And so she said, then she, it, it changed. She said, up until then, it was all fun and games. This was just something fun that Josh did. But then when she heard what the teachers at the Meadow Mount camp said about him, she said, I felt a responsibility to get him to practice more. Um, but our wiring is different. There were conflicts. Maybe I thought that he should practice at least two hours a day, and he thought one was He knew himself better than I did. He was able to focus and learn on his own terms. I had to learn to listen more, she said, and preach less. She discovered that she had to learn how to let children be who they are without imposing your needs on them. Um, she said it was important for me to recognize how much my own personal needs were being met by my child's gifts and successes. 